Hi, so today we are going to be solving a word problem by building an array. Now we're also going to use skip counting and repeated addition to help us solve this problem. So first, let's go ahead and read the problem. The problem says, Amanda has five rows of flowers in her garden. Each row has four flowers. How many flowers does Amanda have in her garden? So after reading this problem, we want to know how many total flowers are in Amanda's garden. So we're looking at total flowers. Now the first thing I want to do to solve this problem is I want to go ahead and use counters. Um, I believe counters can help us see what Amanda's garden would look like. And when using these counters, I want you to keep in mind that each counter is going to represent one flower in Amanda's garden. Okay, so I went ahead and added the counters, and now I want our focus to be on how these counters are going to represent the flowers. So if we think back to the word problem, we know that Amanda has five rows of four, meaning there are four flowers in each row. Now if we look, we see that we have one row, and this one row has one, two, three, four. So we have one row of four. And now we have two rows of one, two, three, four. So I write four to the side so we know that they're rows of four. And now we have three rows of one, two, three, four. So again, I'm writing four to the side so that it's a way we can remind ourselves that each row does have four. And now we have four rows of one, two, three, four. And finally, we have five rows of one, two, three, four. So let me add the four to the side. So if we count the fours on the side, we will see that we have, I'm going to label these so we know, we have one, two, three, four, five rows. Now, instead of counting each individual counter to find the total amount of flowers in Amanda's garden, I see that I can just look to the side here and I can skip count by fours. So I'm going to check off each four we skip count by and write it at the bottom, okay? Follow along with me. So I look to the side and I see that we have one four here. So I'm going to write this four right here. And I'm going to check it off because we used it. Now we have to add this four together in order to skip count. So four plus four is going to give us eight. So I'm going to check off that we use this four as well. Now if we add another four to skip count, we know that four plus four plus four is going to give us twelve. Going to check this one off so you know that we used it. And if we add another four, we will get 16. And I'm going to check this off that we used it. And if we add our final four, we will get 
20. I'm going to check it off that we used it. Let's double check our numbers below and see if we have skip counted by fours. Okay. Four plus four more is eight plus four more is twelve plus four more is sixteen plus four more is twenty. So yes, that is skip counting by four. So our total number of flowers or counters in this picture should be 20. Now that we have shown what Amanda's garden looks like and found the total amount of flowers by using counters, I want to go ahead and show you another way to represent the flowers in the garden by using our own drawing instead of counters. We can always use pictures to help us solve a problem. So here I have drawn five rows of flowers with four in each row. I'm just using circles to represent my flowers. You can feel free to represent the flowers the way you want. If you notice, my picture looks similar to the counters. And just as we did with the counters, I'm going to count and make sure that each row does have four in it, okay? So one, two, three, four. I'm going to write it on the side, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that each of my rows does have four. And also, like last time, I'm going to go ahead and label the other side so we know that we have five rows. So here is one row, two, three rows, four rows, and five rows. So now that I have counted and labeled my rows, I'm going to use repeated addition to help me solve the problem this time. Repeated addition is similar to skip counting because we are going to add the fours on this side here to get the total amount. So again, if we look to the side and if we look at these fours, you see that each four represents the four flowers that were in each of the five rows. So I'm going to go ahead and write these fours down here, okay? So four, plus four, plus four plus four plus four. There are five fours, one, two, three, four, five, because there are five rows of flowers and four flowers in each of those five rows. So let's go ahead and add our fours and see what we get. Four plus four is eight, plus four more is 12, plus four more is 16, plus four more is going to equal 20. So there are 20 flowers in this garden. We could also say that we have four five times, don't we? One, two, three, four, five. So we have four five times. So we can say four times five is the same as adding four five times. Both ways will give us 20. So four 
five times equals 20. If you notice, both ways gave us a total of 20. So I also know my fact families, and I know I could say 5 times 4 is the same thing as saying 4 times 5. They will both give us a total of 20. Now if I wanted to write this in a sentence, I could say 5 rows Five rows of four equals twenty. Now, just to show you that these strategies help me solve the answer to this problem, I'm going to count each individual flower. So again, there should be 20 flowers in my picture. So let's go ahead and count to double check. So remember, these circles represent my flowers. We should have 20 of them. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So yes, there are in fact 20 flowers in the picture or in the garden. At this time, I would also like for you to notice that the last flower in our rows also shows how we skip counted. It shows the 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. So it shows our skip counting strategy and also our repeated addition strategy at the end there. So finally, let's go back to our problem. We know that we can use skip counting and repeated addition to solve this problem. We also understand that repeated addition is the same as multiplication. Because if you look below, we have five times four. We had five rows and four in each row, and we know that that gave us 20. We could also say five rows of four equals 20. So that's all I have right now. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you have a little better understanding of how to solve word problems by building an array and by also skip counting and using repeated addition. Thank you.